Fractal 54, Siren's Reef. This time, besides the Cleric's Thief, I decided to change Angie to Ranger. Since Angie and Ranger both have a 1500 range option for the last fight, I decided to go with Ranger this time, to spice things up. Especially since Longbow is the champion of long range. The damage is not quite as high as Condi Ranger, but this ended up being a huge time saver for a different reason, but I'll come to that later. Today's instabilities are Adrenaline Rush and No Pain No Gain. Just like last year, Adrenaline Rush is a huge boon for when you're swarmed by all the adds, but together with No Pain No Gain, they become really deadly when they are on low health. Also, No Pain No Gain kinda eliminates the benefit from Adrenaline Rush and also gives them protection, which besides making everything take longer, also makes them immune to the Spirit Onslaught one-shot trick. There was a lot of luck involved in that one. But as instabilities come, they are mediocre, could have been worse. Sugar Rush or Weebleed Fire would be an awful combination. Aside from the extra instability, there are a few new changes which makes this fractal incredibly difficult. Firstly, the instabilities make Blasting Black Peter quite a chore on NG, but since we don't have him with us, it's Thief's time to shine. Thief doesn't do a lot of damage, but their main weapon is the cannon, so we make use of that one, trying not to stay in stealth too often, to not reset the fight. For the maze, the spirit circles now eat the treasure, unlike the last tiers. So it's kind of mandatory to go with the Ascended Sep, since you can't die and repeat over and over without the treasure despawning. The most difficult change is for the two mini bosses, where you have to carry the treasure from the beach towards the ship. Now when you deliver the treasure, the ghosts that run up to the ship don't despawn, meaning you will have to start a fight with low health from the treasure, the usual adds and the boss, and nine other ghosts that didn't despawn. Especially Calyx was difficult, because you can get really unlucky with the agony and the route towards the ship is a bit longer. But past the first wave of ghosts, it's okay, as long as you don't get blown off too often. And lastly, for Crow, there's an extra spawn at 20%, but that's whatever. The real change is the green circle. The green circle does over 70,000 damage now, if you're alone in it. And even with all the damage reducers I can think of, it's still too much, even with barrier. So there's a different way to do it. She doesn't attack pets. So the ranger just hides underneath a gangplank and the pet will do all the work. That's it. I could have done this with Thief's Guild on Thief. Or with NG, I could have placed a rocket turret. Or for NG and Ranger, I could attack, go down three times, then hide until the death penalty goes away and then do it again. So this is kind of the best way to do it. Just have a juiced up pet do all the work. Only one more Siren's Reef left. It really is an outlier among all the other short, less difficult fractals. See you in the next one.
Thank you.